Uh, this day that we are commemorating today, August 29th, of course, is very troublesome and very sad for us Christians. Because this is the day, of course, that St. John the Baptist was beheaded. But we remember the great saint for all that he did for us and all that he taught us and all of the ways that he prepared the way for the Lord. He is known as the forerunner. And he is always on the iconostasis beside the Lord. And you always see him a blessing, giving the sign, or his hand is extended out. Take a look at the resurrectional icon, the resurrection icon, and you see standing to my left here is John the Baptist with his hand towards the Lord. And if you didn't hear in the sermon, or you can go back and, and listen to these, the changing hymn today for uh, St. John the Baptist. Read it over because it says that he was, went into Hades and there preached the good news of God manifested in the flesh. So from the moment that he died, of course he became a saint because when we died, our saints become we're honor, we honor them on that day. So the moment that he died, he went down into Hades and there preached the good news of God, Jesus Christ. And what a beautiful thing that is. So he confessed him throughout his life. As a matter of fact, if you listen to, we just went through the paraclesi services and we heard uh, how the Virgin Mary went to visit her cousin Elizabeth. And when she walked out of the room, it said, the babe in her womb leaped for joy. That was John. So he, even in the womb, he was praising God. And even after his death, he continued to do so. What a great saint he is in our church. And he is throughout this church. Um, you probably don't know, but he is in the dome and we have the Virgin Mary on this side and directly across is John and he has those wings that I was talking about because he is like an angel so when you depart today I'm sure the ushers will turn the icon so that you may uh, reverence the icon on your way out and I see we got the Koliva very good all is good and uh, so remember that and take a look at that icon and, and show your deep reverence to St. John the Baptist. Uh, there are a number of announcements. I'm not going to go through them now because there are many of them. And I don't want to give one and then not another. Make sure you have a bulletin. We send these out on Friday afternoon to you in email. If, you, if you're not receiving them, call the church office. We'll add you to the list, or you can add yourself to the list, I believe, through our website. So you'll know everything. So just in case, I know you would never miss a Sunday, but just in case you were not able to come one Sunday, uh, you can always read of what's happening and, and what is uh, going on in the church. So with that, we will conclude. Uh, when you leave, we will have the Koliva there. This is our first time, I believe, that we're... Uh, distributing Koliva again. So uh, on behalf of the community, we offer our deepest condolences and love to the Tarazi family and their extended family. Today we commemorated John Tarazi of five years, Antigone Sakelariu of 31 years, and Theodore Sakelariu of 41 years. Indeed, may their memory be eternal. Amen.